by the way, I'm in Mexico doing this. Welcome back, if you're still around, that is. Uh, if you're new, is it fucking raining right now, bro? What the fuck? What a, what a way to fucking start off the video. So, as you can tell, I'm on a different bike. Uh, R1, if you couldn't tell. And yeah, I just bought this bike uh, two days ago. So, we're gonna have a little bit of fun on it. Now, uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you only follow me on here, and you've been wondering why I haven't posted in like two months. It fucking is raining, bro. What the hell? I literally just checked the weather and it said it wasn't going to rain, but that's that's cool, I guess. Yeah, new bike. Yamaha R1. Uh, I'll try to throw in some B-rolls in if I can. But yeah, as you can tell, I got about 12.5 miles on it. Um, it's got a full Yoshi pipe, I believe. There's a few things wrong with it. Uh, this clip, this uh, like tab or whatever doesn't fully seat for some reason whatever that reason is it just won't seat from what the guy told me but for some reason the neutral light stays on um full yoshi pipe uh stock tune uh what else is done to it i believe that's it but nothing major it's pretty much still a stock r1 i don't even think it has an upgraded air filter or the block off plates or anything like that but i am going to want to get into that and start doing it so that should be fun it looks like it's not even really raining anymore so thoughts on the r1 i fucking love it i've always wanted an r1 like look at that bro oh my god it's so fucking fun put it in a mode oh shit oh yeah okay a mode pulls bro holy shit okay so yeah it's got a mode standard mode and I didn't know this, but you can do it on the fly. I think. Oh, okay, you can do it whenever you're not on the gas. Oh, yeah, it's a lot more tame in B mode. Engine braking isn't as hard. So, if you're wondering what's up with the MT-07, the engine's still blowing. Um, I've yet, I've found a couple engines, but the people I've talked to, they kind of fell through, or they, they're sketchy. So I didn't really uh, go through with it. Um, I was, I was this close to getting an engine in uh, in Oklahoma. I'm, I'm located in Texas, if you didn't know, but I was this close to driving up to Oklahoma, paying a guy $900 for a used engine, and I asked for a little bit more information, and he just never talked to me. So either he sold the motor or I don't know. I don't know what the fuck was up. Then there was another guy in New York who was like, yeah, man, I'll get you a motor $1,200. Uh, but he was basically saying, I'm going to have to buy it first before he can give me any info on it. And of course, no one's going to fucking agree to that. So, yeah, um, I, I really don't want to rebuild it because it is expensive. put in a mode though Ugh, I'm trying to stay away from these clouds I do want to hit the highway uh, another thing I want to do steel braided brake lines that's not on this thing oh yeah this thing is a lot jumpier in a mode Oh my god, 
gonna be pissed. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Jesus, that's the fastest I've taken it so far. I will say the R this the R1 in general has always been my dream bike. I've always loved the way this style of R1 looks. But when the new one came out, I loved it a whole lot more. So that became my dream R1. But you know, with it being 20 fucking grand, there ain't no way I'm buying that yet. But for seven grand, I can buy a 10-year-old motorcycle that still runs fucking flawlessly. So I'm okay with it. I got I got my realistic dream bike, you know? So, I'm happy with it. I fucking love it. I love the way it rides. Um, I, I can say, too, that after riding for about two years, and with the amount of mileage I've put on my bike, and, you know, various other bikes that I've ridden on and off camera, I feel like I'm, com I'm comfortable and confident enough to be on this bike not really fucking you know shit myself I now I just I just gotta hope that I can get the uh, MT-07 fixed you know so do I do want to continue stunting don't get me wrong I am a fucking speed junkie um, I always have been I just never had the bike to do so you know now I do but you know that MT-07 is my baby. I'm never getting rid of it. I, I'll, I'll say I almost will do whatever it takes to get it fixed, but I'm not going to rebuild it because, like I said, it is fucking expensive. And I got quoted from a few people that with how bad it is, I will throw up some uh, pictures and a couple videos that I have. Me and Jason are taking apart my bike, right? And um, look at those beautiful chunks. <laughs> They're great. That looks normal, right? Totally. Yeah. This is normal wear and tear. Yeah. Uh, of the engine running, uh, what it sounds like. Um, a couple people have told me that, like, hey, you know, we're probably going to quote you at about two to three grand just in parts alone because of the fact that you lost oil on the highway, which is what happened. Um, so, kind of sucks, you know, my, uh, my oil filter came unthreaded on the highway. Uh, I was going like 80, 90 miles an hour and the oil filter just unthreaded itself uh, and it, it almost fully came off, but it's not like it mattered. It drained all the oil by the time I even realized what the fuck was happening. And, you know, some of you might say, oh, you didn't put your oil filter on right. I always put it on right. So, um, luckily, when that did happen, I had, I didn't wreck. And I had people behind me that kind of saw what happened. And they saw what kind of filter I had, which is a K&N. And the three buddies that were behind me all said, yeah, K&N is shit. So, and they're all mechanically inclined. They all take care of their, their cars and their motorcycles. So... I do kind of trust their judgment, so it, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it sucks, but maybe I can, if, if it comes down to it, I'll rebuild it myself, because that'll be a way for me to learn how to rebuild an engine, and uh, I won't have to spend another thousand or so in fucking labor with someone having to rebuild my engine, which is not what I want, so, but, yeah sucks but uh, I, at least I you know there's a silver lining I got I got my, one of my realistic dream bikes out of it so I ain't tripping you know oh my god yeah it just wakes up in a mode traces
Wow, beautiful. Sounds beautiful. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna take some quick B-rolls of the bike real quick to uh, someone I knew. Yeah, I'm gonna take some quick B-rolls of the bike real quick. Why are you all the way the fuck over here? What are you doing? You think I wasn't a car trying to turn here? Fucking dumbass. So B-rolls of the bike real quick. Um, and then I think I'm gonna call it. Uh, these B-rolls are gonna be used for earlier in the video, so um, there's not much else to do. Uh, it's starting to get even more cloudy. I'm gonna try to beat, do this to beat the rain and I'm gonna head home. So, so glad I have a bike again. Um, for the people that stuck around and for the people that are new, I'm glad you're here. Glad you're with me on this wild ride because uh, I fucking love this YouTube shit. And uh, yeah, so just gonna pull over right here on the side of the highway, take some B-rolls of the bike, call it a date. All right, everybody, that'll do it. Holy shit, she's dirty. I really should have washed the bike before I did some B-rolls, but fuck it, who cares? All right, yeah, that'll do it. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all have a wonderful day, night, evening, whatever the fuck it is, and I will catch y'all later. Assassin out.